This is a day of joy as we gather for the order for confirmation for Cole Paul and Lily Edling. After two years of preparation, they come to profess their faith that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and their Savior. We hear first the words of the Apostle Paul as he speaks of spiritual gifts. One body with many members, from 1 Corinthians 12. The Apostle Paul wrote, Therefore I want you to understand that no one, speaking by the Spirit of God, ever says, Let Jesus be cursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of servants, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities. But it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the many members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Lily and Cole, as you come today, you are invited to drink of that spirit, a spirit which has already gifted you, has made you unique individuals, and both beloved children of God. So as you continue your life journey, explore the gifts that God has given to you. Figure out what it is that God has created you to do. And know above all else that that spirit rests on you constantly. It's not a gift God gave some 2,000 years ago to the disciples of Jesus. It's a gift given to each one of us. And the living waters of the Holy Spirit are flowing over you always. So that you may know you are indeed loved by God, that you are precious to God, and that as you explore these gifts, there's so much more yet to be learned to make your lives richer and deeper. In the last two years, we've just scratched the surface of what there is to learn in the Bible. So I hope you will continue it to explore because the depth of the teachings of the Bible will make your lives richer. Yet Jesus reminds us that all of the Bible can be summarized in his great commandment to love God with your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbors as yourselves. If you do this, then you will know a life full of joy, a life filled with purpose. You will know that you indeed have embraced being God's children. So allow yourselves to be filled with the Spirit. Come to this moment knowing it is not the end of your journey, it is not a graduation, it is merely a beginning of a life of richness which God offers to you, that you may continue to grow with others, you may continue to explore what it means to be disciples of Christ and to be servants of the Spirit. I would invite the two of you to stand now and to come forward and to turn with me to the screen as all of us gathered Joy in confession. Spirit of wind and flame, blow upon the doors we erect to keep ourselves sealed off from your world. We long to be set free from the fears that jail us and to be released from chains that bind us. We yearn to draw near to your source of living water and to drink deeply from its well. We want to be cleansed in your holy fire and to be driven into the streets by your winds of grace. Come to 
to us and heal us once more, mighty spirit, that we may embrace your gifts in service to your world in need. Amen. And let us take a moment in silence for personal confession. the Holy Spirit into our lives, we are renewed and made whole. Rejoice, for the love of God is with you always. And now, Cole and Lily, I invite you to respond to the following questions. Do you desire to affirm your baptism into the faith and family of Jesus Christ? If so, please say, I do. Do you renounce the powers of evil and desire the freedom of new life in Christ? If so, please say, I do. Do you profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? If so, please say, I do. Do you promise by the grace of God to be Christ's disciples, to follow in the way of our Savior, to resist oppression and evil, to show love and justice, and to witness to the word and word of Jesus Christ as best you are able. If so, please say, I promise with the help of God. Do you promise according to the grace given you to grow in the Christian faith and to be a faithful member of the Church of Jesus Christ, participating in the community of faith, celebrating Christ's presence, and furthering Christ's mission in all of the world. If so, please say, I promise with the help of God. And now let us all affirm our faith with the words of the United Church of Christ statement of faith. We believe in you, O oh God, eternal spirit, God our Savior Jesus Christ and our God. And to your deeds we testify. You call the world to Create persons in your own image and set before each one the ways of life and death. You seek in holy love to save all people from painlessness and sin. You judge people and nations by your righteous will, declared through prophets and apostles. In Jesus Christ, the man of Nazareth, our crucified and risen Savior, you have come to us and share our common lot, conquering sin and death, and reconciling the world to yourself. You bestow upon us your Holy Spirit, creating and renewing the Church of Jesus Christ, binding in covenant faithful people of all ages, tongues, and races. We call us into your Church to accept the cost and joy of discipleship, to be your servants in the service of others, to proclaim the gospel to all the world and resist the powers of evil, to share in Christ's baptism and be at his table, to join him in his passion and victory. We promise to all who trust you forgiveness of sins and fullness of grace, courage in the struggle for justice and peace, your presence in trial and and eternal life in your realm, which has no end. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto you. And now, Cole and Lily, I would invite you to take your candles, to receive the light of Christ, and then to join together in the prayer of the Confirmation. Church offer our prayers. 
Almighty God, who in baptism received these, your servants, into the church, forgave their sins, and promised them eternal life, increase in them the gifts of your Holy Spirit, grant love for others, joy in serving you, peace in disagreement, patience in suffering, kindness toward all people, goodness in being alive, faithfulness in temptation, gentleness in the face of opposition, self-control in all things, and thereby strengthen them for their ministry in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now I would invite the family and friends of Cole and Lily to come forward as they kneel on the steps for the laying on of hands. As the confirmation class of 2020, you are also the confirmation class of COVID-19. Things are different, and yet what is not different is God's love for you. What is not different is Jesus Christ's call to you to be a servant people, that others may know the presence of the Holy Spirit and the joy of being people of faith. Let us join in prayer. God of all blessings and the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant, Lily Grace Edling, through the water of baptism. Nourish in Lily the power of your Holy Spirit, that she may continue to find joy in your word, discovering there is so much more to learn, to enlarge her heart and life with your truth. Ignite the fire of faith in Lily to see visions and dream dreams, that she may serve you in the world. And let all of the people say amen. God of all blessings, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant, Cole Bradley Paul, through the water of baptism. Nourish in Cole the power of your Holy Spirit, that he may continue to find joy in helping others, revealing your caring kindness through his acts of enthusiastic service. Ignite the fire of faith in Cole to see visions and dream dreams that he may serve you in the world. And let all of the people say, Amen. Amen. And now let us join together in welcoming Lily and Cole as full members of the Church of Jesus Christ. We welcome you with joy in the common life of this church. We promise you our friendship and prayers as we share the hopes and labors of the Church of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, may we continue to grow together in God's knowledge and love and be witnesses of our risen Savior. And now, may the blessings of Jesus Christ, our Savior, rest upon you. May you know all of your days there is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. For truly the power of the Holy Spirit is flowing upon you even now, that you may know rivers of blessing. Thanks be to God. We celebrate God's presence in your lives. I think there's something we're going to do to celebrate that at this moment. Go and do God's work. The other way. Thanks be to God. Come here.